Let's get to it. Dark Magician versus Elemental Heroes. What the heck is going on here? Now we pop in ourselves and the Stratos to get a third de Destiny here in the graveyard. And just like that, with three Destiny heroes, we're gonna Dark Angel. Spells are negated. Can't evenly match. Holy crap, that, that's it. That, that's first turn kill. He wins. <laughs> that just, that's a scoop. That's the scoop. He's got the link, mate. He's got Anima. Anima to counter the scoop. What the? Super Polly into Drago Stepelia. We're gonna have a monster negate now. Anima sucking up the Vian, and we're gonna go into a Dark Law. Wow, Anima to counter. Link Karibo, Anima, if you do play those, then you are not gonna be the spell locked. Negating the Dark Law, so this will negate the effect. Gia, not during my explanation. This will negate the effect of being able to activate to banish a card from the hand, but everything's still banished. He didn't add anything anyway, so that's unfortunate. Which means we could have negated that instead, which would have actually negated something. So right now we didn't even negate anything. Redirecting the attack. We have vision here increase. S equipping into the back row. We have the magician combination, which does nothing if you don't have dark magician girl. Spirit of Neo spinning back in the deck to summon elemental hero Neos. Instant contact, special summoning a flame wingman from the extra deck, but it's negated. We're going to link them off into our Cross Crusader, special summoning a Destiny Hero DPE from the graveyard. We're going to negate. Chain the Vision Hero mate to dodge the negate. So DPE will be coming out. Very well done. These are some crazy epic duels. We got the non-targeting monster pop and special summoning a vine from the deck, summon, sending a hero from the deck to the graveyard. Could banish to search for polymerization if we have another one, but we have one set unused. Miracle Fusion banishing from the graveyard to summon. What the heck is that? Neo Swingman. Must be fusion summon. Gain 300 for each monster in your graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this is special summon, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes among monsters on the entire field. You could use this effect once per turn. If this destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. We have dark. We have light. We have uh, just dark and light. Okay, pop two. It's 6,700. Flipping up the combination just to say, hey, uh, don't pop me. We coup, I, I don't do anything. Yup, I'm not gonna pop you. Open field, lethal damage. Wow, Sprite Starter, special summoning our carrot. Very important to have that there. Untargetable Donner, untargetable gigantic Sprite. We have to negate this. It's like, how can you not negate it? We're going to negate. Carrot, negate. He's got Branded Fusion, Pot of D, our hand traps are no good here. Elf Reborn the Rex. Now, we're not done. We're gonna Rookie for Hire Tribute the Rex, Special Summon the Beat, then use the Rex to Special Summon a Monster alongside the Beat to trigger the Beat to search our deck for a for Hire, which will be our Raphael, which we do not have a way to get out on the field. That's for the follow-up. We're setting up for the follow-up already. Drawing into a second Branded Fusion. Maybe, there's always a chance you banish too many Albazes. You only banish one. Probably playing three in a 60-card deck, though. We are going to Branded Fuse into nothing could stop this whatsoever. Zero disruption. He's going to go all the way. Full cook. Let's go. Wait, he's got the curses, though. What was I thinking? Why I keep thinking he has no disruption? He's got disruption. He's got it. He's got it. But he's got the, the Alubur. Alubur. Where'd that curses come from? I didn't see it. I'm blind. I'm blind. All right. Alubur. Branded lost with the Palmerization play. Okay, this is gonna be big. You can now respond to the fusion summon. There's gonna be a pop two, draw one. Big poppage, big drawage, triggering the loss to also search our deck. Grabbing our kit. We kidding. Kick it special. Wiping out the untargetable gigantic sprite and the runic fountain. Special summon the kit to grab a Brandon red to return a card in the hand back into the deck. Ooh, we're battle phasing this branded in red. I could feel it. Yes. Yes, we are. Within the battle phase, add back the Albaz, fusing with the Chimera to make our Mirror Jade. You negated my Lubellion, but Mirror Jade is still out. 
We are we banishing the carrot? Yes, we are. Full field wipage. We have the Mercurial to negate any monster effect. We're going to be setting in the end phase with the Albion. Gamma negating Albion. Mercurial negating the Gamma. Oh boy. Now the Mercurial, does it destroy? And it just negates the effect. So it will stay in the hand. It will be activatable again. But how are you going to make it activatable? Again, the Curry car is dead. There needs to be a monster on the field that activates. Will this be summoning something that activates so that the Curry Kara can activate to tribute it? No. We got Masquerade at 3,700 life, minus 600 on every card effect activation. Tragedy searching, Branded and Lost also searching. We have Albion for the next turn. This is not Disruption. Aluber for the next turn. We have nothing. This is the non-targeting Banish is gone. We just have Burn for 600. So we have open field go in. Let's go. Full cook. But uh, that was our cook. Oh my gosh. Dead, 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 dead. Can only search rookie for hire. We only play one. Oh my Jesus. Can only search for Rex. There's nothing else searchable. This doesn't special summon up for hire. This was literally all he could do. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my Jesus. Overcooked, overcooked. So now Merly is gonna be fusing with the Mothman, making our Mood Dragon as we were talking about earlier. This is gonna be good for a rank four exceed play. Making Time Thief Redoer, which could send the Sharon by card effect to then fusion summon. And we have our permanent monster negate also on summon. We will mill at the scream. Dark monsters cannot be targeted right now. We're gonna steal a call by the grave, which will allow us to draw a card. Carpedivum is here. If we exceed, we could declare a card name. That card is now negated. Also, if we attack, we could pop a back row card. Triggering the Scream to mill three. Did not mill any tier limits. We're going to be using the Exorcister packs. Grab Sophia to draw one. These Exorcisters are hoping for him to move any card from the graveyard, and that's going to trigger them to get exceeding. Macaws could banish a card from the graveyard to trigger the Martha if we want. We're declaring Sullyx. Sullyx going to be negated, but if we negate with Sullyx first, it's not negated. Negate. The Martha. Chain banish the Celiac from negating the Martha. So Martha will be good. But how are we triggering the Martha now? Martha no trigger unless you banish a card from the graveyard. Macalus grabbing Returnia, which will be banishing during the next turn. On the attack, wiping out the Scream. Scream will activate searching for a trap. We got Crime, which will negate anything. What was, um, what was that? Did you think that Scream was not going to reduce you after you destroyed it? I think so. Tier Limits broken in every way. Even their worst cards are broken. Okay, there's... Yeah, it, it makes sense that you wouldn't be reduced after it's gone, but it still reduces you because Tier Limit is just broken. Yeah. Gonna Fusion Summon, and but Martha is still here. Okay. Dragos Topalia can negate the Martha, though. All right, very good. That works out. Martha to level one. Now, a lot of people ask me, DK, why were you playing the Lear Lusk rank one exceed? Because of Dragos Topalia for this matchup. I've had multiple games where they put multiple Exorcisters to level one, and then you could just exceed. Okay. Time Thief Redo, we're going to steal a card off the top of the deck, but not yet. Only during the standby phase, we're going to banish the Dragos Topalia, summon two Exorcister from the deck. We're no longer going to be negated with the Martha. And on the resolution, we're also going to exceed. This will be exceeding into Macalus. We're not going into the Asso field to negate the graveyard. Carpedivum on summon is going to declare Time Thief Redoer. So it's, there you go. Time Thief Redoer now negated. Beautiful. Interesting. The Martha will be triggered off of banishing the Zephyros to maybe summon Asso field. When this activates, is just like a Dweller. That's it. The graveyard cannot be activated. You are negated from the Carpedivum. Very well done. Nessie randomly discarding itself to then summon a monster from the deck, but it can't activate in the graveyard due to the Asophil. Also can't mill five with the Kid Kalos because of the Asophil. We got, wow, battle involving an Exorcist, or you don't even have to declare an attack. It's going to pop a back row card. So I guess we should have mp 2 the Scream unless we needed the reduction. So yeah, you know, we cleared up his field. That worked out. No longer affected by the Carpet Div, I'm going to steal a Stella. 
Wow. Exorcist sister got clapped by Scream twice. Insane. We now have Crime, which will be able to negate anything. We are only stealing monsters off the top of the deck. We're going to Veil, negate the Rhino Heart. Are we going to rank four exceed with this in some way? Crime's now not activatable. You need a monster in the hand. Well, thanks for triggering my triple tactics talent. I play that card too. Negate by banishing triple tactics talent from the deck. You're not going to draw two. Now what do? Crime is dead. Dead crime. Unless we do Garus, draw two, discard. Maybe main phase two, we do that. Do Garus, but uh, you, we would also have to trigger a tier limit because we need a tier on the field. We have Zeus, which is have three material Zeus. Okay. We will be able to wipe the entire field, which could trigger the Sharon. Sharon Fusion Shokan, getting rid of our crime, getting rid of our Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart's not going to be activatable, but that's okay. We have Rook Kalos, 6,000 damage on the field. Tier Lament defeating the counter. Just for game one, though. Lethal damage. 